right guys hey it's symphony and welcome back to my channel we are on episode four okay so as y'all just saw jake just left and now it's nighttime and tomorrow she is going to be going to meet up with her family and friends and our girl is whoo she's worried <laughs> Not that she really has any need to be worried, but you know, just like it's been so long since she's seen them and now she gotta let them know what's been going on with her. But there's actually something that's been going on in the background that Tatiana doesn't know about. And we'll find out about that real soon. But for now, our girl is just sleeping, trying to like, you know, de-stress because she is, a girl is anxious. She is just so anxious about this lunch tomorrow. But it's okay, girl. It is okay. The lunch will be fine. It'll be fine. All right, let's get into this gameplay. Oh, whoa. Thank you. Wait, does she have, she doesn't have work tomorrow, right? <gasps> she does. She has work. Okay, so she'll meet up with them after work then. <laughs> I completely forgot she had work. <laughs> Oops. But she has work. If you, y'all, look at how much our girl makes. She makes 30 an hour now. Our girl is making some cash now. Love to see it. So we just gonna let her sleep until it's time to go to work. And then she's gonna go to work. And then we're gonna come back, get dressed, and go meet up with her family and friends. Oh, wait. She only works for four hours a day? Huh. I didn't know she only... <laughs> I did not pay attention to the fact that she only works for such a short, short amount of time. Yeah, go to the bathroom. Y'all, look at our girl. Oh, by the way, I don't think I told y'all. She lost 60 pounds. Yes, 60 pounds in four months. So that's about 15 pounds a month. Our girl did the thing. She did that, y'all. Girl, is you pooping? You ain't got time to poop. You got to go to work pretty soon. Jeez. Save that for when you get home. Oh my goodness. But yeah, she did that. The weight loss journey. Mm hmm. So proud of our girl. And now she gets to finally see her family and friends again more often. No. You got to go to work. You going to work? Uh, you going to change? Or you going to go in your pajamas? Okay, I mean, sure. Do, do you. All right, y'all. This is crazy. So this right here is Tony Green. This is Ava's mom. This is her best friend. Her best friend. Ava's mom she is so nervous about this um lunch that she just decided to go get some coffee and then she runs into Ava's mom actually everybody's meeting her here Ava's mom just randomly decided to come get some coffee and she's like oh my god Miss Green you're here and she's about to you know like confide in her and you know tell her like yeah like I haven't seen um Ava in a while I'm kind of nervous to see her you know it's been like over almost two years well not almost years it's been like a year and a half since I last saw her and I'm just you know I just feel like I've been a bad friend and I miss her a lot and just like remember us about reminisce about like the family memories and she's like oh girl honey stop like you know Ava loves you like she knows what you've been through what you've been going through she doesn't take it personally she does miss you though and she's like oh she does that's great I miss her too She's like, oh, I'm so happy to hear that. Like, I really was worried that everybody, you know, was going to, you know, feel some type of way about me, you know, not kind of disappearing for a year and a half. And they're like, oh, honey, stop, stop. We understand. We get it. Nobody took it personally. We were just all worried about you. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make y'all worry. Just was going through some things. But I'm better now. I'm feeling a lot better. She's like, oh, honey, that's so great. I'm so happy to hear that. You know, I know Ava will be too. She misses you so much. And, you know, I miss, you know, you girls. Y'all have always been so close. And, you know, you not being a part of your little dynamic. Get back here, girl. <laughs> Stop dancing. Is you dancing? Girl, don't do some sit-ups right now. Continue talking to Ava's mom and confide in her. That's what they want from breakfast. Uh, yeah, ask her how she is. Yeah, so Ava's mom was basically just telling her, like, yeah, like, you got nothing to worry about. Like, nobody is, like, judging you for you not being around down. for a while or because, you know, Bye, everybody yeah, understands yeah. you was going through some things. And just basically telling her, like, you know, like, all everybody wants just for you to be happy and for you to, you know, be in a good place. That's, that's all anybody has ever wanted. No one's has, no one was judging you. No one was angry at you or anything like that. And she's like, oh, I'm so, so happy to hear that. So everybody's going to be meeting her here in a couple of minutes for 
coffee for breakfast even though they were gonna meet for lunch but she was just so anxious to like get to meet no wish she was like yeah guys about that can y'all just like come now <laughs> So she's basically gonna call everybody here and be like, yeah, I'm out for coffee if y'all want to come join me and talk. Hey, Ava's coming. And Lana is on her way. Oh, y'all, Lana is dreading this. Because as y'all know, Lana's pregnant. So she's about four and a half months along now. So she's not really showing too much. So she's been trying to hide it real good. Oh, her mom is on her way. And then her dad, she be on his way as well. Yeah, so Lana is doing everything in her power to hide this pregnancy. She does not. It's like she wants Tatiana to know because, you know, she wants Tatiana to be the god mom. At the second, same time, she's like, she doesn't want to trigger her best friend. But it's like, uh, dang. Um, barista. Why'd you over here talking to us about grilled cheese? You should be over there making some. Ava! Ava! It's Ava! Yo! It's Ava and Lana! <laughs> Y'all, y'all, when I tell you I have been dying for y'all to meet these two, look at them, y'all, look at their friendship, it's so cute, look at them, you got the free spirit Ava, who's the artist, and then you got the boss chick Lana, and then you got Tatiana over here, who's just, you know, about her business, trying to become a lawyer, like, oh, look at, look at these, look at this fine pair, pair of friends, I love this, I love, they are so freaking cute, Oh my goodness. Oh my god, they are so freaking cute. And y'all, I swear Lana is pregnant. She's just not showing. Like she, you know, Lana, you know, she keeps herself fit. So she's not, so even though she's in her first trimester, she, like I said, she's four and a half months along. So she's not showing. I mean, well, she is showing. She just got this, like, you know, she's wearing something that flatters her. So won't nobody notice. <laughs> but she is pregnant. Oh my goodness. Look at her friends. They like beards. Where you been at? Dropping off the face of the planet? Like, we ain't seen you in a year and a half. What is going on? What is happening? You look good. You look great. Mind y'all, they have never seen, they didn't see her when she was like, you know, going through her thing. Like, when she started to like gain weight, she just kind of like didn't let nobody see it. The only person that saw her that way was her husband. Nobody, her, her parents, her friends, none of them saw her when she was overweight. None of them even know she was overweight. Cause she just like she just hid from everyone, so they have no idea. They ain't better exceptions. Okay. Okay. Anyways, what was I saying? Right. They didn't see her when she was overweight and like going through her stuff because she just you know she stopped talking to everybody. So as far as they know, she's just always looked like this. Always been you know in shape and whatnot. They have no idea what she's been through the past four months, but she's about to let everybody know. Like yeah, yo. <sighs> Oh, the game be messing with the storytelling. Can we not? Can we not? Okay, her mom is just greeting you like, hey, sweetie, it's been so long. She's like, I know, mom, I'm sorry. I am so sorry. And she's like, mm-hmm, sure you are, little girl. Don't you go a year without seeing your mama. And she's like, mom, I'm sorry, okay? Like, I just, I was going through a lot, but, like, I'm I'm ready to talk. I'm ready to tell y'all what's been going on. And I really do apologize for going ghost on everybody for, shoot, for a year and a half. All right, everybody come sit down and let's have this chat. Lana, Stood sit your booty down. Ma, sit down. <laughs> I know you got work. It's okay. You can miss it. All right, everybody sit down. Let's have this chat. What? Can this fool go away? Okay, so she's like, okay, guys. So about the last two years, I know I haven't been like, you know, very... I haven't been talking a lot. I haven't been seeing you guys, and I really, I'm really sorry. But like, as you guys know, after I had, you know, after the baby, I just became really depressed from the loss, and then I learned I have like these fertility issues with having a deformed uterus, and it just made me really depressed. And I just kind of started laying in bed all day. I was eating a lot, and basically, I gained a lot of weight. And I just, I was embarrassed, and I didn't want you guys to see me like that because I love you guys and I got your opinion. And even though I know you wouldn't judge me, 
I just, you know, I was judging myself. And I just didn't want to, just didn't want anybody to see me that way. It was bad enough Thomas had to see me that way. I didn't want you guys to have to see me that way as well. And speaking of Thomas, I haven't told you guys, but four months ago, we got a divorce. I came home on my birthday because I know I was supposed to meet you guys at the spa on my birthday. I ended up changing my mind. I decided to, you know, I just couldn't, I just, I just didn't go out around that time. But I decided to go out and then, you know, it gave me really bad anxiety heading out. So I decided to come home. I came home early and I caught him cheating yeah and when I confronted him about it he basically you know said a whole bunch of mean stuff to me called me disgusting and fat and all this stuff and so we got a divorce and he kicked me out onto the street with nothing but a hundred dollars and they're like what he kicked you out onto the street with nothing but a hundred dollars that's not what he's been telling us and she's like excuse me it was what he's, he's been telling y'all things and they're like yeah he came around looking for you a couple months ago, like he, he dropped by my house, he dropped by Ava's loft, he dropped by your parents' house, looking for everybody. He's and everybody was like, What's going on? And he told us, You left him out of nowhere because of the baby, you just couldn't handle it no more. You just left, and he didn't know where you went. And that's why we started like blowing up your phone. But you kept talking and you know, responding and answered our phone calls, so we all knew you were okay. And we didn't want to press you too much because we didn't know what was going on, we were worried. So we just like, you know, we know you, we knew you were going to tell us, you know, when you were ready. And she's like, Oh my goodness, I can't believe him. So what he told y'all, I left him. And they're like, Yeah, he told us you left him, you divorced him. And he came around looking for you and she's like, that's crazy. He's out there saying this mess. Like he's the one that was cheating and then kicked me out onto the street with nothing but a hundred dollars. Like I literally was homeless for a couple of weeks until I got a job and moved into a motel. And they're like, what? That piece of shit. How dare he come around basically putting all the blame on you saying you left him high and dry when he was the one that was out here cheating and kicked you out of the house and she's like i know right like he kicked me out that is crazy and then well and then told me i couldn't have any of his money and all this stuff so i ended up on the street and they're like wait why was you on the street though like you know you could have came out she's like i know but like everybody has been taking care of me my whole life like first it was you guys then it was thomas and i just wanted to you know try it on my own be on my little independent woman thing you know and also i wanted to lose weight i didn't want you guys to see me when i was big and they're like well you look great so you clearly have been doing okay like you look fine like I, like the clothes are cute like you don't look like I, I would never have known that you were you know had some weight on you and she's like yeah i lost 60 pounds in four months i'm very proud i have a personal trainer his name is jake and he's actually been like my rock throughout this whole thing he's been a really good friend he's like He's like a new best friend in a way. Like I've never had a male best friend. It's nice to have one. And they're like, oh, okay. And I, she's like, no, 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 it's not like that. Me and Jake are just friends, okay? She, they're like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And she's like, no, I'm telling y'all, we're just friends. I have been in a relationship since I was 14. I just want to be single right now. I'm not looking at him like that. Plus he's two years younger than me. So he's basically a baby. And she's like, girl, if you don't shut up. <laughs> Ava, Ava's over there like, girl, if you don't shut up talking about two years younger than you. Like, girl, two years is nothing. Shut up. She's like, girl. Girl, listen, <laughs> listen, leave me alone, okay? <laughs> I just want to be single right now. I just want to focus on me. I'm planning on going back to school. Oh my goodness, Lana's mom is here. Why is everybody's mama showing up? Lana, what your mama doing here? Bruh, Lana, did you call your mom? <laughs> Let me find out Lana was texting her mom on the table like, Mom, clock this tea. Did you know Thomas? kicked out our girl like can you believe this and then had the nerve to come to my place looking for her blaming her saying she divorced him when apparently he was the one that said he wanted the divorce crazy like can you believe this mama lana let me find out you a gossip don't be out here telling all your girl business even to your mom even though she like your mom <laughs> yo that's crazy but yeah everybody is just kind of stunned about this information like they had no idea any of this was going on so y'all clock this tea right so why did Thomas go around looking for our girl three and a half months ago, two weeks after he kicked her out of the house, he started having regrets, started feeling a certain type of way, and then he had the nerve to go to Lana's house, Ava's loft, and then her parents' house looking for her, and when all of them was like, no, we haven't seen her, she's not here, she's not living here, he had the nerve to start telling everybody like, yeah, she's lost a man, she left me, she divorced me and all this stuff, and I'm like, the nerve, the nerve of this guy. 
two weeks that's all it took for him to start missing her two weeks like the the man is a mess he's an absolute mess and y'all he has no idea he has no idea that she lost all this weight and that she looked good again as far as he's not as far as he's concerned he probably still thinks that she's like overweight and depressed and whatnot but our girl is doing good he has no idea that she is like you know she got herself together she has a job she has her own spot even though it's a motel we, we ain't gonna talk about that <laughs> oh speaking of the motel so I've actually changed my mind about getting her an apartment so what we're gonna do is it's currently summer so when it turns fall she's gonna be starting school and she's actually going to live on campus instead of getting an apartment she's gonna live in the dorms because it's cheaper and you know our girl's all about keep you know counting them coins right now she just she can't afford it right now so it's okay she's gonna live on campus she's gonna live in the dorm for the first year and then the second year hopefully we can get our girl into an apartment but for right now it's all about stacking them coins okay because she's trying to become a lawyer and look at everybody everybody is just so impressed with our girl look at how they looking at her they looking at her like i know that's right we didn't even know you was going through all this stuff but look at you only four months after getting divorced and you look great you look like you got your stuff together i never would have known you went through all this mess and she's like i know right like look at me check your girl out <laughs> But I'm done being in my A. Y'all ain't got to worry about that no more. I swear I will never do that again. Like, we going to hang out all the time now that I am, you know, back. I'm back to my old self, my old bubbly, outgoing self. Jeez, why everybody keep getting up? Y'all see, when the game be trying to mess with me, when I'm trying to tell a story, I am trying to story tell over here. Where is everybody going? What's up here? Is there something up here that y'all trying to get? What 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 is what is y'all doing? Chat with Lana. Why are you chatting with her in the bathroom? Oh, y'all doing y'all girl thing, talking in the bathroom. You know what? Lana really wants to tell her that she's pregnant. She really wants to tell her, like, girl. Oh, but she doesn't know if it's the right time, cause she's like, dang, I didn't know you was going through all of this. Like, I knew you was going through some things, but I had no idea. Girl, were you just were you just in there with? Was you just in the same stall as Lana? Okay, listen, I know y'all, I know y'all homies, but that's, that's too much. Actually, why you up in here? Use the bathroom. We'll give you some privacy. Where'd Lana go? Child, look at her dad up here just making friends. He's like, man, after hearing my daughter just went through some mess, I gotta, I gotta blow off some steam before I go mess Thomas up. Cause it's taking everything in me not to drive over to that fool house and knock him upside his head. How did that fool divorce my daughter and then kick her out onto the street with nothing but a hundred dollars? And then I didn't even know? My baby girl was out there with nothing but a hundred dollars and I didn't even know? Like, do you know how that makes me feel as a father? It makes me feel terrible. Like, I've taken care of my baby girl since she came into this world. I was the first person to hold her. And this fool did my baby wrong. I can't believe it. Y'all, look how much she looked like her dad. She looks so much like her dad anyway so yeah he's just he's blowing off some steam listening to some music because y'all when i tell you it's taking everything in this man not to ride on over to thomas's house and knock him upside the head it is taking everything in his power oh who we got sentiment with with your daddy what y'all got what y'all got closer from happy memories oh my god Yo, y'all, when I tell you her parents love her like crazy, her parents adore her. They can't become best friends. Yeah, become best friends with daddy. Why not? He's your dad. You love him like crazy. Hmm. Ooh, remember that childhood friend. What childhood friend? Your daddy know all your childhood friends. Affection. Yes, express. Oh, y'all got some more sentiments. What y'all got going on here? deeply connected oh my god y'all so cute her daddy is so happy to have her back he hasn't seen her in a year and a half he's like baby girl i miss you please 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 don't ever do this again don't ever disappear on us again she's like dad i'm so sorry i promise you i won't i was just going through a lot but you know what now i now i know next time i'm going through something not to like go ghost and everybody and to rely on my support system because y'all literally are the best and i don't know why i didn't rely on y'all when i was going through something the first time He's like, it's okay. Like, I get it, baby girl. You want it to be independent. I get it. But next time, just don't do that again. She's like, I, pr I won't. I won't. <laughs> I promise you I won't. And please don't go beat up Thomas. He's like, listen. 
Ain't nobody think about that boy. Maybe, maybe not. You know, I might, I might be strapped on the table. I might be thinking about it, but I'm not gonna do it. She's like, you sure that? He's like, yeah, I'm not gonna do it. She's like, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. what do you say? Listen, Dad, seriously, don't go bothering him. Like, you know, he got all this money. Like, I don't want to see you go to jail. He's not worth it. He's like, yeah, okay, whatever you say, baby girl, but shut, sit that fool up and show his face. All I'm gonna say is I'm not gonna be responsible for my actions. You know, you know your dad. He don't play about you. She's like, I know, I know. <laughs> oh my goodness, they are so cute. She's like, it's okay, dad. Listen, like honestly, I should thank him because like he's the reason why I was able to like you know really see what I was doing. Like you know, wanna actually better myself. While I am mad about how he went about it, you know, at the end of the day. It gave me the push I needed to get myself together. And now, now that I'm single and I'm, you know, trying to become, now I can get, you know, go pursue my dream, you know? Like, he got to pursue his, now I can pursue mine and, you know, really get on my lawyer stuff and, you know, you know go to college and be, try to become a lawyer. And he's like, oh, yeah, you still, you still want to do that? She's like, yeah, of course. He's like, okay, well, I'm rooting for you, baby girl. Thank you, daddy. Oh, Jay is mean. Wait, who was Jay? Who in the world is Jay? And why is he telling us he's mean? I don't care about you. Alright, everybody is leaving. Alright, y'all. So, her dad left because he had to go to work. But, yeah. They all pretty much, you know, the hangout. You know, they really enjoy, you know, hanging out and whatnot. But, it's early. Oh, whoa. Snap. It's 6 p.m. Wait, how did the time pass by so quickly? That's crazy. But yeah, basically everybody is about to. <gasps> oh no! I know I. Yo, yo, yo! I know. I know. This not who I think it is. Oh, we got the rumble. And her dad just left. Yo, he show up right when her dad leaves, bro, bro. You know, you know, if he popped up on this joint when her dad was here, he would have gotten them hands. Are you? Why is he here? He. When have you ever come to Starbucks? This fool has never stepped foot in a Starbucks, bro. He has never stepped foot in a Starbucks. Why are you here? What are you even? Y'all, I, y'all. Y'all, I'm sorry to do it to you. I'm sorry to do it to you. I hate, I, oh, don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me. I hate to leave y'all on a cliffhanger, but I have to do it. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. But, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Um, I am flabbergasted. This fool really actually popped up how did he even know we was here how did he even know we was here y'all i can't believe this this fool really actually popped up here how did he even know we was here he has never in his life been to a starbucks that's the main reason why she chose starbucks was because she knew there was no chance she would be running in to this fool so what 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 no My, my jaw is on the floor, y'all. My jaw is on the floor. I can't believe this mess. What is going on here? No, like, 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 actually, what's going on? How did he even know she would be here? Are you, are you? Y'all, y'all, I'm so, I'm so angry. I'm so angry. It's taking everything in me not to just, like, qu rage quit and leave y'all on a cliffhanger. <laughs> It's taking all 